wish I could stand up here and talk about my cats all day. I can't do that, but what I do want to talk to you about is some creatures that I have found living in my infrastructure that I think might also be living in yours. Quick review, like you can't buy DevOps, you also can't buy cloud. This is not about a particular technology or a particular vendor. I promise you I did practice the timing. So we all know about pets and cattle, but there is a large, large, large gulf in between them. So what might be living in there? Well, we're going to find out. It's helpful to think of cloud and automation as two different axes. We've been doing automation without the cloud for years and years. We can rush into the cloud without really doing automation. If you do that, you get different creatures. They all look very similar. There is arguably some room for overlap there. And one other thing is I don't have all of the answers, but I'm going to try to t tell you some of the answers. So if we rush into the cloud, we might get a teacup pig. We might say, oh, this is livestock. It's like a cow, right? It's sort of fundamentally replaceable. But what happens when you are feeding this creature by hand and it grows to be a 500-pound menace? Do you think you could keep that guy off of your furniture? So let's look at some examples of how you might be dealing with a teacup pig. Okay, if you spend a lot of time with the console or the control panel, no matter how well you know it, you might be, you might be dealing with teacup pigs. Um, what's going on here? You're creating a silo. We don't do that in DevOps. You're also creating the possibility for human error. We, everybody loves um, to create images. They're absolutely n necessary, but I feel like we did this before, and if you're doing it um, manually, you're introducing the possibility for error. You're introducing the possibility of another silo, um, et cetera. So we need to absolutely automate this process. So block storage, this is a weird one. To be clear, I'm talking about multiple block devices attached to a single instance, not the one you boot from. The issue here, and if you've ever tried to do this inside of a chef recipe or a salt formula, you, can, you know that the compute and block storage is not tightly integrated enough to treat them as a single unit, which is what we really need when we're, when we, if we want cattle. So how about a barn cat? Well, it lives in a barn. It feeds itself. That sounds better than a pig, right? But you might have a lot of trouble keeping, you might have a lot of trouble hurting these guys. That's a property of cattle, right? Also, if you spend very much time with it, it might start to become quite tame and it might start to resemble a pet. There are a few more cat pictures in this. <laughs> um, <laughs> I said I wanted to talk about my cats. So how about a load balancer? A hardware load balancer in particular? Sorry, that's a barn cat. The problem is you can't auto scale with this. We all know we want to auto scale. We all know that that's what we need to do to control costs. You can't do it. And then you're, if you're, especially you're at layer seven, your um, application logic is now shoved into this load balancer that's possibly managed by a vendor or a different team. It's not versioned, it's not close to your code. So configuration drift, to really push the cattle model forward, you have to realize that cattle are taken to market and slaughtered. That sounds a little bit grotesque, but it's true. If you are constantly killing off instances, then what you're doing is you're making sure that you don't have drift. You can't always do this. Maybe you can, in your configuration management, remove explicit, do some explicit removes or something, but you need to do this if you want to get to cattle. And finally, please don't, please do me a favor, don't deploy with um, SSH. This is, another, this is either another silo or a security nightmare, and it also makes your deployments needlessly complex. So I've barely had time to scratch the service. Maybe we can talk about it later. I want to really quickly say that there might be um, places for these creatures in your organization, depending on your needs. It's nice to know what you're dealing with. Thank you.